If you've been around here for a while and you've been checking out the different content that we create for podcasters, you're going to understand why I really, really like this brand new tool by Headliner. We're going to dive into all the new features and how you as a podcaster can use it. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm excited to talk to you about Backstage by Headliner. This is a new audio feature that Headliner just recently rolled out, and I wanted to do a walkthrough of what it is, why you would use it, and how podcasters can use their live audio rooms that they've already created and use them in a fun way. So I gotta be really upfront and tell you that I was really on the clubhouse scene whenever it first showed up. I was having so much fun. I got invited in December 2020 and then like jumped on the bandwagon and was really participating. And then everything kind of changed because I kept asking, well, how can I actually use this in the future, right? How can I repurpose things? How can I just turn this into something that would be an evergreen piece of content? And the solution really hasn't been there. But what's cool about Backstage is you have some features that haven't been available on other platforms with other tools. And if you're not already familiar with Headliner, make sure you go watch this video right here because this is one of my favorite tools that I recommend for creating your sound bites, audiograms to promote your podcast on social media, on your website, all the places. So let's go to the computer and I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial of how to use Backstage by Headliner. So here we are, as you can see, it's just backstage by headliner.com. This is a new feature that they recently rolled out and I think it's really cool. It's a cool product and I'm gonna do a demonstration of what this looks like. Now I've already had a headliner account so I can just log in, but if you've never used headliner before, it's super simple to just sign up, click the sign up button and create an account. You could just enter in your name, your email address, create a password, and you're good to go. But since I already have an account, I'm gonna click the login button. And there you go. This is what it looks like whenever you've logged in. So I wanted to do a test since, like I said, I haven't been using a lot of the Twitter spaces and Clubhouse rooms recently, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna test this out with one of my podcast episodes. So because I needed an audio file to make this work and create this demonstration, what I did is I went and grabbed a totally completed audio file. It had to be an MP3 or a wave, and I uploaded it right over here because I already had a room recorded or already had a piece of podcast audio. So if you wanna do that, I absolutely recommend, you know, upload a piece of audio just to test out to see how these features can work for you. But since this is already done, as you can see, it says completed right here. Whenever I first uploaded it, it said processing, but now it's complete. So I'm gonna click on here. And what's really cool about this transcription of what they have here is there's these different kind of formats to how the transcription is spit out and that's what I thought we should really highlight because I think it's super cool for you to be able to grab snippets of your audio and you can even change things up if you want them to appear in a certain way. So this particular episode is just myself. There's not an interview, there's nobody else because you would see multiple speakers pop up over here on the side. Maybe it would say speaker A, speaker B, speaker C, if it could tell the different tones and inflections of pe different people's voices, but it's just me. So I wanted to see, well, what would happen if I change this to Crystal Profit, if I can spell my own name, and then I'm gonna click enter. Look, do you see like how quickly that was? It just changed it throughout the entire thing. So if I didn't want it to say my whole name, I just wanted it to say Crystal, because maybe I'm gonna promote this somewhere. I could just say Crystal and it updates it. That's really cool, that's, a, that's an awesome feature. So it has the takeaways here at the top, which I thought were really cool because it's already grabbed some clips that I could turn into quotables for social media or you know use them in another way to promote my podcast and what I talked about on the episode. So I could actually click through these and I could literally copy and paste these and 
use them somewhere if I wanted to. So I think that that feature is really cool. I love that there is a full-blown transcript of the episode, so that's really neat. So I wanna go back out to the main screen and show you what it's like to schedule a Twitter space or a Clubhouse room. So in order to test this out to see what was gonna happen, I created a Clubhouse room and I actually copied the URL and I'm gonna paste it right here and we're gonna say that it's scheduled. So what does this mean? I literally called it a test for backstage by headliner because I wanted to see how this would all play out. We've seen what it looks like once you upload an audio file, but what does it look like whenever you schedule a room? I schedule it for just a few minutes from now whenever I'm recording this, and then we're gonna see what happens once the room goes live. Okay, I just started the room and it was great. It was really fun. Um, and then now it says processing. Just a second ago it said recording, which I'll take a screenshot and share with you what it looked like. But I just hopped on the clubhouse real fast and said, hey, I'm just recording this. This is a test. And I recorded about a minute and a half to two minutes of me just talking <laughs> and saying, Hey, this is a test. I'm testing out a new product. And now you can see it says summarizing. So I'll be curious to see what it looks like whenever this is done. I didn't do any recording on my end um, in Clubhouse. All I simply said to my audience was, hey, I'm running a test, I'm recording this, and don't worry, I'm not gonna bring anybody up on stage, it's just me. So uh, there could be some interesting things that happen if you plan on recording a room. I think, um, and even down here in, the uh, the backstage guidelines, you can see, let speakers know you're recording the room or the space they are speaking in. If we suspect you're recording without speakers' knowledge, your account will be banned. Ooh, don't do that, that's a big no-no. So I didn't bring anyone on stage for my mini little clubhouse room, I had a few people pop in and I just told them, hey, I'm testing a product out. So let's see what happens after the room has been recorded and everything is finished processing. So I was curious if I could do anything whenever it's summarizing or if I have to wait until it's totally completed, like it says down here, but I'm gonna click on the summarizing tab and see what it says. Okay, so cool, it actually already recognizes me. I don't know if that's something that's automated or because of the other transcript I already did, but it says it's still summarizing and oh, this is so funny. You can literally see what I did. Hello, hello everybody. I'm just doing a test room to check out a new feature that Headliner is doing called Backstage. So you could literally go and read exactly what I said. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Like it's verbatim a transcript of everything that I said in this little mini clubhouse room. You can see right up here, it was one minute and 30 seconds. So let's see what the audio sounds like. Hello, hello everybody. I am just doing a test room to check out a new feature that Headliner is doing that is called Backstage. So in order to make this work, I have simply synced up my Backstage account and I've copied my Clubhouse room, which is what this is, right? I did a scheduled room and now I am simply sharing that URL to Backstage by Headliner and it's recording. And even though I'm the only one on stage, I'm actually not gonna bring anybody up on stage today because this is just a test. Um, you'll be able to see the YouTube video shortly on how this is all done. But I wanted to uh, test it out. It's a new product. I love to test new products and see what they can do for podcasters and how we could possibly use this. So thank you all for being here today. This was just a quick test and uh, reach out if you have any questions or you wanna know uh, the when the video is gonna drop. So thanks for being here today. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's pretty cool. All I did was I scheduled a clubhouse room, I input the URL, it automatically recorded. I didn't have to go in and click record and backstage. It automatically recorded exactly what I said. It transcribed it and now it's summarizing it for takeaways. I have to say, all in all, this is a really cool product, especially for those of you that are using Twitter spaces, clubhouse rooms, and you want to have the ability to 
use that audio for in the future. I think a cool way to use this is to have clubhouse rooms like you already have or do a Twitter space where it's something that you really wanna talk about, your audience has been asking you to do and then you can record it and then now you have that audio file right here, it's already transcribed for you. It has key takeaways and it's just really cool. So all in all, I give it a thumbs up. I think that it's a really cool product. I think that, you know, there's gonna be probably other iterations in the future that maybe even blow our minds even more, but I gotta say Headliner, you all did a fantastic job. Thank you for asking me to test this out and share it with my community and yours. And I can't wait to see what y'all are up to next. But that's all I have for you today. So make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe below, that way you don't miss our future videos all about podcasting and running your online business. Make sure you check out these other videos right here all about podcasting and running your online business. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.